Oh, hello there, young sir. A nice snapping young lad. That's how we do it. <clears throat> we have next sex. You haven't lived until you've had next sex. What is going on guys right here playing Ark Survival Evolved today? I'm gonna be doing some crazy shiz as a compi. Let's see here. We just gotta make sure we're a female. We're gonna be tracking down a handsome young, uh, hopefully borderline successful. He can't be on drugs. Just a nice young compi who's around our age. And we're gonna get impregnated by him. We're gonna make a nest and we're actually gonna hatch little compi children as a compi. And it's going to be amazing. Alright, so just gotta make sure we're a female. Carnivore is down here. Dumb they esta. There it is, compi. Female. Our name's Ann. Ugh, I never picture me as an Ann. Really more of a Becky. Alright, Compy, and let's do this thing. Alright, so here we are, Becky Compy. Kind of sexy. I don't know. I'd pass. Maybe after a few beers, but either way, we're just looking for a man who's down for that kind of thing. I need to stop getting off the sexual jokes. I'm a damn dinosaur, for God's sakes. It's inappropriate. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna scope the beaches, because it's spring break right now, and that's where all the hot young Compies are. I can't even help myself. Okay, one thing is for shizzle certain, we need 10 hide to make a, a compi nest. And while I'm here, oh, what's going on? Two females. Oh my god, bitches be crazy. I was breeding with one of the males right there, but they all straight up turned on me. They straight up went pack. Well, you see that? One of their men hit on me, and the chicks all went nuts. Okay, I gotta escape, so I'm gonna get ripped apart by compies right now. That can happen. Alright, right, so the goal, primarily, you want to find yourself one night alone copy without his, like, females with him. Because these bitches are territorial, and they will rip your face off. Alright, but we do need ten hide to make a nest. And while I'm here along the beaches, there are creatures here that make it possible for compies to get hide. Like you, who can't even attack, you poor bastard. Your mouth is way bigger than a copy, yet you can't bite- Okay, I'm- I feel silly. I thought that overwrapped it was a copy for a second. I totally almost came onto him right there. You've got to die one of these days. I need your hide, man. All right, get that stamina back. This stamp copy stamina is ass. There we go. Look at those little bites all over him. He's like that little girl from the beginning of that Jurassic Park movie. Who gets mauled to crap by copies. That was gnarly. Made me afraid of copies for a long time. Got over that fear eventually, though, because... You don't really see many compies on your day-to-day. -day. For real, son? You're gonna give me one hide for that? Oh my god. It's like that 70s show around here. There's just one hide. <laughs> okay, I got to make that joke. What I'll probably do for the sake of the video is just spawn in the hide once we, um, once, once I find me a nice compie worth, worth settling down with. One I can bring home to the parents, you know, who will, um, approve of his compie religion. We'll be different, but the love will be grand. I don't know. I might just hit it and quit it and bounce out there and be a single mommy, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. It's 2016, you know? It's, it's men are... So, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I've never dated in the compi scene before. Are you a man? Jesus. It's never been so hard to find Wang before. All right. Million dollar idea. Tinder for compies. Just swipe until you find a local compi looking to... Get in on some of that sweet loving. Just billion dollar idea right there. I would have found a mate already. I heard footsteps. You know what? I'm gonna go back over there. I'm gonna try and get with one of those. If I could just lure one of them away from those pack of females. So that's what it is. Like we, They still relate us as a human, I think. So once there's more than a few copies, they all pounce on you like animals. Alright, we're swimming across. I can't be bothered running around again. Okay, good. We're fast swimmers. We are strong. No, I don't need you. I don't need your innards. Looks like her stamina doesn't even go down from sprinting. Like, compies can just run forever. Which is a really magical thing. Because that's pretty much what your entire career entails. is just running and scavenging. What was that? Oh, haha, ha, you're stuck in the wall, stupid. Oh, crap, I'm stuck in front of him. Don't spit at me. Oh, that almost backfired. All right, compie poontang. Wait, no, that's me. Oh, what's going on there? And there's the mating bar at the bottom. Okay, come on. Come on. Mate quickly before the females attack! Jesus, you bitches are territorial as hell. What is going on here? They do not like the cut of my jib. Or the way I cut my pubes, something. They, they do not like certain things about me. That much is clear. Alright, well, there's gotta be more copies. Can't I find somebody to love? Straight up compie bit bitch brawl going on right here. Cat fight. That's what I should have said. A cat fight. I don't know why I chose that other much harder thing to say. That's right. Gotta hide off of you. That's right, sucker. That melee damage up. We are now fierce. We're gonna build a compy nest out of dead compies. That's as metal as it gets. 
Oh, hello there, young sir. A nice snapping young lad. That's how we do it. <clears throat> we have next sex. You haven't lived until you've had next sex. Wait, hang on. Hey, you ain't done here. Hey, I want alimonies. No, hang on. There we go. Fertilized compi egg in our inventory. All right, now I don't even want to bore you guys with the quest of trying to come up with eight more hides. Seen as how I get about one per creature, which I understand for the sake of the mod because you don't want to just rush through and have everything you need right off the bat. That just doesn't make much sense. You got to survive and scavenge as a creature. But this is more of a mod review slash, oh look, we almost are ready to go again, yo. We might have a future in the porn industry. All right, I'm hoping this dodo drops a little more high than the average I don't know. Victim? Come on. Too high! Oh, you hit too frequently! Really? Okay, still too high. Actually, we almost have ten. I can do this legitimately. Look at me being a hero. Oh, yeah, I heard a dodo. Where did... See, this is the only disadvantage when you and your target are smaller than the grass. Things get ishy. Alright, there. Just for the sake... I just did it anyways for the sake of the video. You know, you gotta protect your compy herd. So you guys don't want to see me kill more dodos. You already know that's going to go down. I make a few over-the-line sex references, and then they die. Oh, there's a dodo there. Could have killed you. All right, this is where I'd make my nest if I was the compi. I mean, it's you're pretty much screwed if anything heads down to you, so that part sucks, but you're pretty much screwed anything if anything happens. You're a compi. Right here, right on the ledge of the mountainside. Oh, that's perfect. This is where I would do it. Yep, fur shizzle. Get you crafted. Wait. Just got a remote use the item. Crap, where did my nest just go? Oh, what is life? I'm not too good at putting down nests, apparently. I'm a man, damn it! Oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, uh, balls. Where have you guys seen where I dropped the nest? It looked just like a nest. You can't miss it. Kind of a nest. For the sake of my babies getting a little sun and knowing exactly where it's going to plant down, I planted the nest right meow. Look at the little, uh, the little, there's one weeny teeny nest. I can't believe I got the egg in there so perfectly. Wow, I'm such a great parent. Look at that family photo. Oh, wow, single mom in it too. I don't need no help from no man. Although I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> Alright, the egg incubation is moving along. Drop this in a nest to keep it warm. It's so great how the nest just keeps it warm for you. It's almost like creatures already thought of that and do it. You know, we should have had nests a while ago, man. Get my kids some food. Well, you're bigger than I am. I ain't messed the hell no. That fish will eat my face off. Plus, there's piranha in here. I need to think smarter. I do have some food on me, though. I'm ready for childbirth. Our kid is coming along nicely. He's not even already retarded. I always thought I would be an egg dropper. I don't know. I was dropped many times on the head. I remember a few of them, actually. I remember just this, like, thunder. Like, there was nothing louder than a head dropping on the floor. Like, the skull is a hard... So, I don't know, bombs are pretty loud too. One time we made a stick of dynamite, we just like emptied out maybe like 60, 70 M80s and my buddy had like a PVC pipe that he filled the inside with like concrete. It was in a way so the inside was like hollow but the shell was all concrete. He had like a whole tube funneling system for it and it's like dad's garage. And we set that thing off and we were all deaf for like 30 minutes. It put a little crater in the bricks. That was the loudest thing I've ever heard. What was I talking about again? Alright, I'm just gonna focus on childbirth. Oh yeah, skulls hitting the floor. Why was I thinking about that? Oh, because I was hatching an egg. It all came rushing back to me. See, some people should not be left al alone with the child. <laughs> if anything, kids just generally look delicious. Serve it up with some bacon, ketchup, oh hell yeah. I mean like babies, not, not, not like baby compies. What are you doing? I don't want to miss like the hatching moment. A compy first sees the baby, like that baby compy is going to be smaller than, than bacteria, you know? If you break that baby compy in half, it's going to set off a nuclear explosion. Oh, oh, any second now. I meant that because the baby is like the size of an atom, get it? If you split an atom, it makes an explosion. Bit of a nuclear one. Oh, look at that little fart bubbles, he's so little. Where are you going, shish kebab? Hang on, stinky, get over here. Get, get over here. This is the only problem with this mod, is you can't really, actually, you know what, it's because this compy knows how to whistle. Ha ha! <laughs> Don't question the realism. Can't you see those lips? They could perfectly perform a whistle type maneuver. Anyone, anyone who says differently is just not a realist. Look at the side, is disgusting! That does not look like it's ready to be out walking on its own. Like straight up, you think compies would just be born full size. 
How, how are you gonna I guess it's up to me to feed you. They, I would like to see a compy nest, to be honest. Like, an actual one in, like, Jurassic Park. I would like to see some baby compies. Because I feel like that is, like, a not completely grown-up child right there. Like, a straight-up premature hatched, like, three months early. Small and red and not probably gonna survive without oxygen tanks. But here, I've gotta take care of you. Alright, come on, Stinky. Now we gotta start our long journey to the north before the winter starts. Because that's how- Oh, damn it! We just beat her! We just lost the winter. This little thing can't even walk over rocks. Are you serious? Like, I, I should just... I should just put you in my mouth. Like lions would. I keep thinking it disappeared, but then I see that tiny little... Like, that is... The smallest life form Ark will ever have right there. Except for disease. I feel like disease is the only thing smaller. Look at this little guy. I just want to eat him. I feel like he wouldn't even be worth, worth anyone else's time in eating. Because he's just so small. Like, he'd burn more calories chewing him than you'd actually get from eating him. He's like celery. You're like celery! See, he's got plenty of food in his system because I've just been walking and pressing N to him constantly. So he's definitely- looks like it doesn't even matter how much food you have in your inventory. Just as long as you go up to him and press N while you're on your creature, then it just, like, loads their inventory with a bunch of food. Which is great because there's nothing more horrifying than your kids dying. It's happened to me with, like, at least 60% of the kids I've hatched in my survival series, and it's- Funny, sad every time. See, here would be the hard part. Here's where the actual adventure would, would begin, I believe. Is now you've got to keep this. Now you've got this kid. You've got this responsibility. You've got to keep fed. You've got to keep him alive, more importantly. Like, right now, sure, you're just maintaining a peaceful area by the beaches. That's This is the most peaceful kind of area in Ark. There's usually a Sarko here, though, so that's good. At least on my worlds. But, um, there he is. He's so small. But if a raptor rolls up or anything, then it just becomes pure survival. You're gonna have to ditch your kid to stay alive. And this is, this, it just gets way too real from that point. Honestly, if I got hungry, I'd probably have to eat my kid. Nah, again, he's, he's, maybe once he gets a little older, and he'll actually fill me up a bit. Alright, I lost my kid. He was somewhere under this turtle, and now he's, there he is. There you are, you little bastard. I need to put a tracker on this guy, a blinker. Something. Something going on. Like, he can't even step over the rocks. If I even try and bring him this way... Then he's going to die over there. So let that be a lesson wherever you have your- I believe the size of this nest. This is the size of a nut, I feel like. Like a turtle one, basically. Ah, why would I even say that? I've never even seen- They're not even in the game! Okay, so, basically there it is, guys. There's having a baby compy. It just is a world of responsibility. I suddenly feel like this mom who's had all this- The fun cut out of her life, because I'm just chained to some little bastard while the dad's out there having a good time, but it's like- I don't know, basically if you're gonna have a compy kid in this game, if you're gonna go through this life cycle, Make sure you're doing it in an area where the kid can walk around freely and a comfortable area at that because you're gonna be with this little guy for a while till he till he starts to grow up a bit, which unless you turn that up on your world a lot is going to take a long ass time. But either way, here's how you be a strong independent compy woman who don't need no man and can bring a child into this life. Um if you <laughs> if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. This was all the play as Dino Mod, which should be in the description below if you want to download it and have a nice day guys. Peace!